Oh, exactly. And and that's the proper way to put it down, being that, you know, I'm a chef now. So that's a, that's a proper way to describe it. <laughs> uh-huh. So um, what advice would you have for any young up-and-coming actors that wants to get into the business? And we all know we've seen the ills of what can happen to child stars if they don't have good people around them. I think the only advice that I can give anybody that's seriously um, thinking about getting in this industry, whether you, you know, whether you're in the music business or whether you're aspiring to be an actor or whatever the case may be, I want everybody to understand that this business is very hard. A lot of people think that they can just get in this game and just be a star and work and start making a whole bunch of money. And you know, people who aren't really educated on it, and it's not their fault, they just don't know. But the one thing I could tell people is that, you know, this is not a game. This business is not a game. You know, the level of focus that you have to have is really something else. It can be very stressful. Um, it can be discouraging at times because you have to deal with rejection. As a matter of fact, there was a television show that um, I just auditioned for a couple of days ago, and I was like at the last process of you know, dealing with the network, and unfortunately, I didn't get it. Nobody else got it. You know, I could have been bummed out about it and been all depressed and like, oh, man, I really want to do that show, but, you know, I, I understand that that's part of the game. That's part of the business, and I don't care, you know, how long you've been working in it or, you know, what you've done. You know, you always got to continue to step it up and go even harder than how you went on your, your last part or your last movie, and you just have to really be focused. You have to really be focused, and you got to keep your, your head up. You got to stay positive. You can't get wrapped up in the Hollywood lifestyle and doing the dope and all of that partying. There's nothing wrong with hanging out. You know, you really got to pick your spots and you got to pick your times when you do let loose and you do let your hair down. Like I said, man, especially if you have a close relationship with God, too, that helps out a lot because I honestly feel that you can't do anything in this life by yourself. I honestly feel my belief is that, you know, God is the one that guides us all and helps us and the one that gives us the opportunity. So I think if you stay with that relationship as well, uh, first and foremost, like, like, you'll succeed, but it ain't easy. It's not a cakewalk. So I, I really want people to know that before they, you know, jump on their plane to come out to California or go to New York thinking that they just going to be the man or the chick, you know, next week. Like, it don't happen like that. So people, you know, preparing, you only see one half, you got to put in the work. For parents, too, like, because I think you would ask that question, too. For parents that are looking to, you know, involve their children in the entertainment business and where they don't become casualties, you know, the one thing parents got to understand is this, and this is what my mother did for me. If you're really going to be there and if you really gonna put your child out there like that and you know help them start a career you have to understand the concept of sacrifice there's gonna be a lot of times where you know you're gonna have to be on set with that child at all times of the day you know there might even be a situation where you may even have to quit your own job you know and spend long periods of time away from your family and then on top of that too like another thing another piece of advice that I can give to parents is don't let your ego get way of the child's welfare you always make sure that even before you know you do anything you ask your child, like, is this something that you want to do? Is this something that you're interested in? And, you know, if it is, then support them. And that's another thing that they need. They need support. They don't need a stage mom or a stage dad that's all over their shoulder, you know, telling them this and telling them to do that. Not, like, nah, it's about support. It's about being there for your child when they need you. It's about giving them those words of encouragement. It's about keeping them humble. It's about making sure that first and foremost that they continue on with their education. Get that done first. And then, you know, once you have all those different things in line, then you can wind up raising, you know, a very successful child in this business who won't get turned out. But, you know, you do have to go about things that way. You know, if you don't, if you don't want to up. Words to live by now. Do you have any shout outs you want to give before we conclude this interview? Well, you know what? I just want to give a shout out to anybody and everybody out in the whole country or whatever in that particular city who, who ever supported me. The people who still support me, who pray for me. I want to let everybody know that I truly appreciate it. Thank you all so much just for everything. And like I said, please look out for those projects that I mentioned. Love for Sale, Jada. Look out for Meet the Battiers, which will be coming soon. Look out for Kelly Sheehan's project. And look out for my new project coming so everybody continue to watch and I guarantee you you will be amazed at what is going to happen in these next couple of years alright people there you have it another time machine exclusive singer actor jack of all trades chef Jason Weaver Jason thank you for doing this interview my man and hang on the line thank you Jay I really appreciate it man God bless you dog alright